What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today, the video may end up being a little shorter, but if it is, it's because it's all sheer speculation and none of it is confirmed or hinted at all in any way. Today we're going to be talking about a theory that I have for co-op. We have no insight, so all this really is just speculation, but I want to see what you guys think of this. So, what if the new co-op game mode in Advanced Warfare was perhaps third person? Maybe not the entire time, or maybe it's just an option, but imagine that. Now, I'm skeptical about my own theory but I find it possible at the same time. I've told you guys all the story of Sledgehammer time and time again, but for those who missed it, I'm going to tell it again. Sledgehammer was a studio looking to be a part of the COD franchise, and they initially dove into a project to pitch to Activision, and that project was a Vietnam-era third-person shooter. They wanted to be innovative and creative by doing something else that no one in the franchise dared to do, and if I must say so, that is quite daring. I don't know a lot of people who would admit that they 100% agree with the idea of a third-person shooter because we're we're in a first person shooter franchise. Anybody as a human doesn't like change, so their initial reaction to that would be to deny it. So that is quite daring to pitch to Activision, but that's beside the point. Activision asked Sledgehammer to step in and help on Modern Warfare 3. Infinity Ward was having a terrible time getting it underway. They were rumored not even to be able to meet the November deadline, so Sledgehammer stepped in as well as Raven and Neversoft. So at that point, Sledgehammer dropped all work on their third person shooter and they helped Infinity Ward make a blockbuster game as all other Call of Duties are. Now, they did this all without the majority of the credit they deserved. After that, Activision noted their hard work and effort and then put Sledgehammer as the third developer to the Call of Duty franchise after Modern Warfare 3. That's where the development for Advanced Warfare began, but I just feel like something is missing the more I think about it. If anyone has ever gotten attached to a hobby, say an artist to a style or a specific painting, you can't just stop midway and think, well, I'm good. Time to move on. I guess the same doesn't really have to apply in terms of games because they're getting paid to move on, but I feel that they're still kind of attached to that project. I mean, after all, it was almost completed when they stepped in on Modern Warfare 3. So what if they decide to kill two birds with one stone? It doesn't even have to be completely third person. Like I said before, it could be just a toggable option or something, but wouldn't it make a little bit of sense? I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, you tell me down in the comment section down below based on the ideas and connections that I made here. But before we end the video, I do just want to elaborate in saying this is all sheer speculation, none of this is at all confirmed or even hinted at, so don't jump down my throat, it's just an idea that I had and I wanted to share with you guys and get your feedback on because really I think it's quite plausible to see something like that because there is an attachment factor when you get to projects that you work so hard on. But that's been my time ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did like the video please leave the like button down below, any shares to your Facebook, Twitter and my space for you. Would you like that? Always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content. You guys know exactly where to find any new news and information right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. As always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.